Hey everybody, today I'm celebrating 10,000 subscribers. I wanna thank you all for subscribing. Thank you, I finally hit 10,000 on YouTube. And as a special um, and as a kind of partial content delivery, I will kind of give back by doing the top three mistakes that young people make when they become rich and famous and successful. So it's a little bit of an educational video, but it's also uh, partly a thank you video. So I'll do a little thank you uh, and then go into these top three tips. So first off, thank you for anyone who's been here for a short time or a long time. Uh, let's just be frank, my YouTube channel growth is very slow. I remember hitting 500 subscribers back in 2014-ish and just expecting that my growth would slowly increase, not, not go crazy, but would increase faster than it did. If you asked me then, I was expecting to hit a thousand subscribers in a couple months and probably 5,000 or 10,000 in a couple years at most. But let's just be frank, I still haven't mastered the viral YouTube game and I really don't have, uh, you know, the footage or ability to put in all these fancy graphics and b-roll and stuff and make it as cool as a Matt Diavello. So I'm still thinking about ideas and how we can do this but thanks for everyone who has been here for the long and short haul and as you can tell I've released over 1,500 public videos on this YouTube channel which is most than 99% of YouTubers and you can tell that uh, you know I'm not just doing this for the money because clearly I only get 30 views per video it's it's obviously more than the money so i want to thank you all for that and uh show that you know of course i'd like to make more money but of course it's to help people i would love to help people make a strong impact on their lives and make their lives and the world a better place so that's what i value and that's the answer to why i do this i occasionally get comments like why do you continue you still get barely any views you've put out so many videos and they just assume you could tell by their language that they assume that i'm only doing it for the subscribers or views or money and if that was true then their logic would make more sense but their assumption is wrong that that's the only reason i'm doing it anyhow to keep this short let's move on to the next part of the segment which is the top three mistakes the top three mistakes that super successful rich young people make when they hit it big when they get famous and rich successful especially in hollywood in the entertainment industry um, i've learned this from studying many biographies memoirs and interviews of successful wealthy people and there's clear patterns that they keep making as mistakes that cost them big in the long run now you you know you might be like well i'm not super successful rich or famous yet why does this matter to me well it probably won't to most people but it'll still be very entertaining like i would say less than one one percent of the viewers this is actually applicable to but the other 99 percent, it's still infotainment it's super entertaining just to see what these people make as mistakes so the first one is just a huge common mistake that a lot of wealthy people have made. Some of the top paying entertainers in the business have made. We're talking Will Smith, Kevin Hart, Offset, uh, Steve Harvey, and more. They have made this as a huge uh, mistake, and that's not paying their taxes. Sounds simple, right? But you'd be surprised. Many of these people were never educated in financial literacy in school. I mean, mo none of us are. There's not even a class for it. And unfortunately, what happens is uh, when they make a lot of money all of a sudden, they spend all of it immediately. And, uh, you know, when you have a million dollars and you spend a million dollars like that, which is you know, easier to do than you think, what ends up happening is you're at zero again. You're starting from the bottom, but you also have 300000 or $400,000 in taxes that you now owe from income tax. So, um, you know, a lot of these people regret not, you know, understanding the tax game 
And, you know, when you see these interviews, what ends up happening is, is they go into massive debt. Steve Harvey was the worst. I think he had to pay off like $8 million or something. And then, you know, he had to, they basically had to work and continue working and then put all of their income that they made into paying off the debt from these taxes, which they all managed to do. Some of them really persevered and really stuck it through and took any job they could. But it, it was a huge blow to them. You have to understand that, you know, you know, when you make money, part of it has to go to the government as a form of income tax. Um, and that's just always been the part of the process. A lot of people, when they first hear that, when they, you know, spend all that millions of dollars and they don't realize it, they're like, why? Why do I have to pay the government anything? And they're outraged and surprised. But that's that's just something that's always been the case since probably the start of this government or any government. Like there's always an income tax that everyone has to pay from your local baker, your local McDonald's worker to your banker, your accountant. Everyone has an income tax. And when, when you make a lot, you also have to pay a lot. Probably less as a percent than the average worker, which is good for rich people, but still a lot of money. So that's the big mistake. The second uh, mistake that super rich, successful people make is that they think that the wealth, the fame will solve everything, make them complete, make them happy and fulfilled. Some of them feel like it does for a while. And then after a couple weeks, months, sometimes even days, they feel like they're no much happier off. They got a lot of initial quick happiness and pleasure, but that really fades quickly. You know, uh, a new pair of shoes that you might be happy for a week or a day, but then that kind of just fades. And no matter how many shoes you get, you're, you're still not much happier. And if you want more info on that, go to Wikipedia and search up hedonic adaptation. There's a lot of scientific literature already that explains this, but essentially humans have a base happiness level and when they when they follow people who win the lottery or go broke a year later they return to that base level from before when before they won that lottery or uh got into a severe car accident that paralyzed them so everyone's base set point is different but uh, certain superficial things like money wealth women fame is not going to endure in increasing that for the long run. Research has found there's other more uh, attainable things, community, giving back, friendship, uh, that has a much longer uh, holding power for your happiness. And then the third and final thing, um, mistake that super successful, rich, wealthy people make is that they fail to find fulfillment. They think that their work and passion will bring fulfillment and for some people it does it just everything works out it lines up but many of them they really do it partially to make the money and now that they've had all this money they realize it's not fulfilling it's it's not really fulfilling their their purpose or their or giving their life meaning and making more money when they already have millions is not the same thing that's why you see certain rappers like logic retire early from the rap game or or um Internet entrepreneurs like Jeff Walker, you know, go through all these videos explaining their, their journey and how they went to all these meditation retreats and different gurus to try and fix this issue. But ultimately, you have to find your purpose, your passion. And sometimes it is in what you chose. You know, some people just love tennis or love business so much that they stick with it. And even though they could retire, they don't. But others, they've filled out their money gap and they realized that was their main impetus for doing this. And it was fun in the moment because the money really made an impact on their life. But now that they have the money, they have to look to other uh, purpose-driven things. And, you know, that's also about tasting and testing, just like finding your passion. Some people, uh, just based off their DNA, find it better through giving back to others in some way. Charity, philanthropy, uh, helping others. Others find it through some other thing, discovering a new invention or scientific phenomenon or adventure, going to a place that they've never been before. Um, it depends on you. It depends on the individual. 
So this video is getting long. Once again, thank you for 10K subscribers. I really want to get that 100K subscriber mark one day and get that silver plaque, but I know it's on me. I have to switch up my YouTube strategy, make some more less boring content. I'll see what I can do. Thanks for sticking with me.